Hello. In this video, I'll be going through an example on how the valuation of forward rate agreements is done. So this will be useful if you're preparing for the CFA level 2 exam for derivatives. So let's look at the example. So suppose we are we have entered into a pay fixed 6 by 9 FRA at a rate of 0.8% and the notional amount here is $20 million at time 0. So after 90 days have passed, the 3 month LIBOR is now 1.3% and the 6 month LIBOR is 1.55% which we will use to as a discount rate to determine the value of the FRA at t equals to 90 days. So assuming the appropriate discount rate is LIBOR, calculate the value of the pay fix 6 by 9 FRA at t equals to 90. So 6 by 9 here, as we recall, these are uh, stated in terms of months. So if you quote it in terms of days, assuming it's 30 over 360 day count, so this will be 180 days and this will be 270 days. So if you refer to the textbook, the formula for this particular um, FRA value valuation is very complicated. But if you draw the timeline, it will be much easier to solve. What we have here is the timeline. So it's from zero and then uh, we the FRA will expire on day 180. And then the underlying here is a 90 days LIBOR, okay, or three month LIBOR. So at, uh, at the initial point when you entered into the contract, okay, the forward rate at the initial point is 0.8%. So you are, have entered into a pay fixed position. So this when you pay fixed means that it is a long position in the FRA. So after 90 days, 90 days have passed. So we are trying to find out what is the value of the contract on day 90. Okay, this is what we intend to do. So to solve this, okay, we will need to find out what is the forward rate, okay, based on the LIBOR on day 90. So what we have been given here is that on day 90, the three month LIBOR, okay, is 1.3%. And the six month LIBOR from 90 days here, it's equals to 1.55%. So in this case, what we need to do is we'll need to use these two, this six month LIBOR and three month LIBOR to determine what is the three month forward rate starting on day 180, which is 90 days from the current point. What is this three month uh, forward rate? Okay, so we have to recalculate the forward rate here. So in this case, based on the formula to calculate the forward rate, so the forward rate here will be one plus the six months LIBOR, which is 1.55%. And then this is for 100 uh, this is 480 days so it's 180 over 360 and then we divide by the three month LIBOR okay so one plus the three month LIBOR rate which is 1.3 percent and this is for 90 days from 90 to 180 it's 90 days over 360 and then we minus one and then we analyze it so when we analyze it we are trying to find out so this is for 90 days so that's 360 over 90 the 90 here refers to the three month forward rate. So if you calculate this, you will get about 1.79%. So based on the, the six month and three month LIBOR on day 90, okay, we find that the, the FRA rate, okay, the three month FRA rate has increased from 0.8% to 1.79%. So as a long position, when the price of the asset has increased, Okay, or the underlying has increased, that is a gain to the long position. Okay, so we can tell now that the long position in this FRA has a gain. So how do you calculate the value of this gain on day 90? So when you look at the timeline, okay, uh, again, I'll just draw the timeline separately here. So this is day 70 and this is day 180. So on day 270, the relevant cash flow will be the difference in the forward rates, which is 1.79% minus 0.8%. Okay, so if you are calculating this from a long position, you will take the new, uh, the updated FRI rate minus the initial FRI rate. Okay, and then we need to convert this into dollar terms. So this will be 20 million. So we multiply by 20 million. And then we will have to adjust for the number of days because this is for 90 days. So this is 90 over 360. Now this cash flow, 
okay this in this cash flow here is on day 270 but we now need to find out what is the value of this FRA on day 90 so I have to PV present value the cash flow from day 270 to day 90 so in other words I have to discount it back for 180 days and so what is the relevant 180 day LIBOR here it is 1.55% so when we take this number, our this so the value on day ninety will be twenty million dollars, twenty million, multiplied by one point seven nine percent minus zero point eight percent, times the number of days ninety over three sixty, and then we discount it back by one hundred eighty days. So that's one plus the discount rate, which is one point five five percent, multiplied by one eighty over three sixty days. Okay, so there you get it. So once you calculate it, you'll get your answer as, and you will get $49,119. So this will be a gain to the long position. So for the short position, it will be a loss of $49,119. So when you, when you do evaluation on FRA, it's always best to draw the timeline. Okay, so you know that which is the applicable period and what discount rate to use to discount the payoff.